for stakeholders. They've sent two newsletters uh, home to parents indicating uh, you know, this is why it's important. These are the symptoms that you need to be aware of. And if you have any additional questions or comments, please contact the school. So I commend the school for being very proactive in this regard. Um, I think this is uh, a testament to not only their professionalism, but the involvement of the community as a whole. They've responded to the school, and I think that in large part has helped uh, avoid the spread of, of this specific uh, virus throughout the community. You said that attendance now is 97.9. .9. What was it last week or with the... Well, to be honest with you, our attendance has never been particularly low, even with the virus, um, because I think it was a very small number of students that were um, sick. Uh, but we've been running above 95% average daily attendance at that particular school the entire time. So and parents then, weren't keeping their children home to avoid... No, we have no reports of that. Now, obviously, we have asked the parents that if your child is give, has symptoms of, of any type of virus, whether it's a flu virus or, or anything else that's contagious, which is primarily if you're running a fever, please stay at home so that you don't infect anybody else. And our parents do a marvelous job of, of adhering to our requests, and uh, I think that's why we're in the position we're in today. 97.9% average daily attendance is, is a really good number. And we're proud of that, even uh, at this time of year when the flu season and stomach viruses and, and that sort of thing is running around.